Hi, my name is Harun and I'm going to show you how I use Nikon Capture NX2 as a JPEG image editor. Now you'd normally be using NX2 to edit your Nikon RAW files but it's actually very useful if you wanted to edit JPEG files taken by other cameras such as Canon or Lumix. I've got Chair of Photo which I've taken using my Lumix FX55 which is a pocket digital camera and um, it only shoots JPEG so I'm, I normally would be using Photoshop to edit these photos but I hardly use Photoshop anymore. Instead I'm using Nikon Capture NX2. Now let's open the um, JPEG file and as you can see here most of the functions that are available in NX2 can be used except for the raw functionality. Now as usual you can use the quick fix section to change things like the contrast okay I'm going to add a little bit more contrast you can also do highlight protection what you normally do in raw but actually works in JPEG and notice the area around the um, fluorescent light there as you can see there's a marked change in the highlight protection. Shadow protection also works. Okay, I'm going to leave it at zero. And so does saturation. Now I think the color balance is a bit off in this photo. So I'm going to add a step to change the color balance. Select color, color balance. You can see the photo is a little bit yellow. I'm going to add a bit of blue here and that will get the color balance just about right. Now I'd like to darken the photo but just leave the area around the face to be about this level of brightness and I'm going to use the levels to do that. So I'm going to add a level step okay, and just shift the levels to the right here so it darkens the overall photo. Now to just make the face maintain its brightness I'm going to select the radial gradient and use the minus sign and draw a radial area around here so you can see that we've got the rest of the photo dark but the face is as before as with most pocket digicams the depth of field is not quite as shallow as a digital SLR so I'm going to blur the background using a Gaussian blur and um, you have to apply this manually so we'll increase the blur blurness as you can see it's getting blur now and I'm going to paint in just the background to be blur so you can see I'm I'm now going to paint the background. I'm going to do this quickly so that you can just see the effects. So now we're kind of like making it seem like this photo was taken using a digital SLR. I know it's a bit of a, a cheat, but um you know quite quite a lot of photographers do this kind of thing. Well, there you go. We can double check and see how I've done the blurring on the background. Okay. Okay, and uh, let's do that again. There you go. So the background's bl now blur. That's looking quite good so far. So what I'm going to do is I want to crop the photo. Um, and um, have it with a tighter composition. Okay. So that's a crop there. Now having done this, it looks 
quite good so far. I can save this or all the steps that I've done so far as a version. Right? I'm going to call this version 1 color. Now the beauty of saving it as versions is I could create another version of this photograph. Say for instance a black and white version, which is what I'm going to do now. I'll create another step. Add the black and white conversion. There you go. That looks quite good. Um, I think I'm going to add a bit of grain to it. Okay. And we'll add medium sized grain. About so much. And so you can see the grain effect. And this is black and white. I'm now going to create a new version. Call this version 2 black and white and I can always go back to the version before by just selecting version 1 color that's the color version and um, I can continue editing for instance um, I'm going to add a color style styler from the color FX Pro okay where is it now color styler Ah, there you are. And um, that gives some cool effect. Let's try um, let's try a, a sort of lightish brownish gray. And maybe let's add another styling effect. This time duplex. Okay, well that's it gives a, a really cool weird effect maybe let's just um, decrease the opacity slightly to about ooh, say 65 percent right and we can create yet another version call this version 3 say color with effects. Now remember, all this while I've been editing a JPEG file. and But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save this file not as a JPEG but as a NEF. Yep, that's right. It doesn't change the JPEG into a RAW file. Now when I reopen the NAF file. Now you can see this is the original JPEG and this is the JPEG file that we have been editing stored as a NAF file. I double click this and you can see that the beauty of storing as a NAF file is that all the editing steps have been saved. In fact since we use versions we can also open the other versions like the black and white version or the color version without the effects or even the very original JPEG file as you can see here. So all the steps are there and you can change the steps as you like. Um, let's say you, you, you don't like the cropping, you can remove the cropping and recrop the image as you like. For instance you want to a tighter crop maybe so you could do that and save this as a as a new version as a last step you'd want to output the raw as a JPEG by going to file save as and select the type as JPEG call it another name and click the save button and there you have it so you see, that's the beauty of using Nikon Capture NX2 for editing JPEG files. You don't have to use Photoshop or your other image editor. You can just use Nikon Capture NX2 very effectively and very easily. Thank you.